here. Um, thank you for being with us and happy Friday. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. Um, yes. I know we are here and yeah. um, um, always lots of exciting things. And I think Cheryl's going to go over the top today with the stuff she's doing. So it's pretty cool. Um, if I would have had just, time, David, I was going to do one of the pillows that I ordered. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited to work with this material. It's really amazing. And if you haven't gotten the linen, you need to get it because wow, they only had one piece um, uh, of the placemat. So I was I was fortunate to get one piece. <laughs> So do you yeah, guys we're, have um, back in stock? we're 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 having more sewn. We're rushing as fast as we can, but it's selling very well. I was going to start off things today just by uh, thanking the folks that uh, from your group that came by at the Long Beach show. Um, we had a great show, yeah. and um, uh, also a great class. Um, just a lot of fun. So, if anybody's on the broadcast today, would they let us know they came by the booth? Um, okay, well, let's was... see. I'm going to have to go in. Okay, because I'm not seeing anybody at the mo Oh, yeah, uh, there are people. But I'm going to go put this in YouTube. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, on Facebook. The interesting thing is, is um, I'm having issues now streaming to YouTube Live for some reason. It's not allowing me to do it. It says it can't find my groups. So I can go to my profile page, but I can't go to a group. So I don't know if it's, you know, I'll have to check that out and see what's going on. But anyway, should we should we keep going or? Oh, wait? absolutely, because we're live. We're okay, you know, and people are watching. I'm just posting it in the group so they know to to um, click on it, and you know, here we are. But anyway, have... happy Friday to everyone because this is a a great Friday, right? <laughs> it is. It is. Um, so we had a great time at the show. I'm trying to think of um, anything. Um, yeah, well, and if you guys were at the show, please um, say something because David would like to acknowledge you. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, booth very crowded. Um, my son Finch ran the kiosk, and that was a lot of fun. But I think what's becoming the most fun at these shows is the the coloring booth so we had a separate booth down the hall and you would um you know sit down relax just a little bit take a little stress off your day and and color your little heart out and then bring it down i do want to show one picture if i can find it really quick for the camera i think okay. i can so one one lady that i think has been a condi client for you know, 10 plus years at least, um, Karen Wallace. And, um, so, um, she sat down and she colored, um, and she did sort of, we'll call it a self portrait, if you will. So I'm going to try to figure out how to position it so we can see it. Um, but you can, you can see sort of the self portrait. That's, that wow. is a, a color light acrylic coaster um and that wow. was her her art that she produced and so we were running a daily contest and and so she definitely won one of the days wow that's um, pretty awesome but we you know it, it to me being an engineer and left-handed you know not being the the accomplished artist kind of person uh to look at other people and their what they can do in a couple of minutes uh, right. with with markers um, but talking about the markers, please check them out. They're they're really a bargain price at thirty five dollars for a pack of ten. But in in typical sublimation style, um, th this is so easy for me to believe. People would come up, and they of course would ask questions about the markers. And my favorite question was, they wanted to know what the yield was on the markers. <laughs> um, and, and I had already, I knew the answer <laughs> and, and so, you know, but only sublimation people would ask such a question. <laughs> and, and the answer is that if you started drawing a line, 
the marker sort of runs out of steam after the fourth football field. Okay. <laughs> well, David. <laughs> so, okay, so in so terms, I in terms know, that I, I have can, to know, how do you know that? <laughs> so, so we, we got the information from the marker company. Okay. That um, was my question too. How do you know that? <laughs> and so, so you just color your little heart out. So the bottom line is um, you're going to do a whole lot of coloring before you run out of a marker. I mean, a whole lot. So we talked to the marker company people, which we become good friends with. And we said, you know, what's next? And how about some fluorescent colors? How about some black light colors? Nice. And they said, one of the colors <coughs> certainly has some fluorescent kind of characteristics. But bottom line is, it, it's all this is coming out of the woodwork of people doing all sorts of of things. Some some would be expected. Some would be unusual as far as um, having sublimation marker parties or whatever. Um, but certainly um, super cool. Okay, so um, is it show and tell? Can I show a couple of things? Please show. Okay, so I've been having some fun. We're going to walk around to this side so we can see it. Okay, so um, the first thing I want to show, I, I did a little video on this for the group, um, but I want to show them exactly how I did this. So here's the candle that I did. And these are literally like little inserts that I'm making with the color light film, and they are truly amazing. And so here's another one. Just slip it right on. But how I'm doing that is just one of these. And I, and I wouldn't do a short one. I would do a, a tall one like that. And then a frosted, just a plain frosted um, candle holder. And there you have it. So that's the first thing. I'm going to blow that out. And then here is, this is my little floaty. Um... Yeah, can you see that? Yeah, it looks good. It's cute. Just absolutely love it. And then here are my favorites. Okay, so this is Color Light uh, acrylic that I cut out. And it's absolutely, I love it. I'm telling you, the colors are magnificent. They really are. And here's another one. It's really cute. I love the shape. Yeah, I do too. Um, as I said, I have been selling them for a long time. Okay, and so here is. Um, can you all see? Can you see that? Do I need to back up some? Um, it looks good right there. You zoomed in on it earlier, and it, it, you could see the texture in it, and it looked really, really good. I, and it looks, yeah, it looks I really good this. right there. Yeah, the it blues. Just, came out so beautiful and the colors came out just popping. I don't know that you can really see it on, on line, but I'm telling you the colors are magnificent. Yeah. That's so, our new, our, the new linen stuff. I just love it. It's so great. Yeah. And so here's one more that I did of the color light. Yay. This is so Super pretty. Cute. Just love it. So anyway, that's, um, and I'm, I'm going to be doing a pillow. Um, I don't know, probably, I, I don't know. Actually, anyway, I, I don't know. Hopefully tomorrow, but we'll see. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, Sprite, wow. how have you been? We missed you for I, two weeks. I know. It's, I think it's been three weeks, actually, since I've been with you guys. Um, yeah. I know. I miss y'all. I'm glad I to know. be here. Um, did David tell you guys about Secaucus next weekend? The 23rd and the 24th. You know what? I'm going to be there. I'm going Yay. To, yeah, I'm going to. Are you going to be there? No. No. Oh. I'm sorry. No, but David will be there and Doug and Jeff and uh, David and Jeff will be doing their show. I hope it's not next week, is it? It's no, it's the week it's after. Week after. You, you gave me a fright. <laughs> make you a shirt. Um, but next week, uh, tune in to our new time on Thursdays with Cheryl's group, right? On the 16th? Yes. 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 
it's gonna be fun. Um, so I have a I have a special deal just for your group, just for right now. The next Ooh. person that leaves me a review on one of their products will receive twenty five dollars in Condi credit. So flip over to our website, review one of our products, get twenty five bucks right now. Yes, do it right yes. now. Yes, yes. So okay. can I do it? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Click on the draw. Um, and I want to talk about Alice for a second. If Alice is out there, hi She's Alice. Here. She won $25 in Condi credit by making these super cute bags. Um, Alice, you had the entire office talking about these. Wow. She sublimated them and she sewed them. They have an inner lining. So this is a placemat, a linen placemat that she took and made into a um, cosmetics bag. Alice. Alice, what? That's crazy. This is insane. So congratulations, Alice. Um, wow. I think you were already notified yeah, last week. Yay! Yes. Yeah, that's so cool. She's great. She's amazing. <laughs> she says, oh, thank you. Yeah, she's an incredible talent. And thankfully, she's one of my moderators in the group. She's amazing. She's right. truly. And, you know, we have quite a history because, you know, we had a group years and years ago that was vinyl and whatever else. And so it was it's kind of awesome. Cool. Yeah, Good. it really is. And she's always, she's always had that, you know, everybody was always awed at what she did. So, yeah, so cool. well, you know, when you add that, that crafting element with the little touches, I mean, it was, it, it looked, it looked very professional. It looked really, really good. Um, so I need, that was I need to post my, uh, I, I, I don't know, maybe I showed you, oh, I don't know if I did. I showed David at the show, but my. But my pillow with the 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 puppy with the ears. No, I have not so, seen that. Oh, so cute! But um, my my daughter in love and son grabbed it. So, so, have you had a wedding yet? Oh, they both both have been got married, and thankfully everything is awesome. Wonderful. Okay, so. Um, so Carol is asking, will the markers ever come in a pointed version for finer lines? Good you know, um, I think it's up to us at this point in time to ask for what we want. And certainly um, I think that's come up, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that's great. That that would really, especially for people who can actually draw. I can't, yeah. but... Meredith was saying that that since the end of it is sort of a chisel like you can you can turn the marker so you're sort of writing from the edge of the chisel to achieve a little bit more finer detail. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um by the way is 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 Nancy Jean and I don't know how to pronounce her last name is she uh, on the brand broadcast today, I um, don't know, but Nancy, if you're there, if you could just say hello. Um, you know, part so of she's... the part of the issue is um, that if they haven't subscribed, they can't uh, they can't comment. So... Okay. Anyway, she's uh, sent me an email recently, I think, day talking about um, how uh, she's doing with her um, Oki with um silhouette and so um also she's given us lots of um advice on uh things we can do to continue to um help everyone out there so um thank very, you very cool. and um I'll, I'll digest it um so but um you know it's it's always nice because we are a community to get get feedback and it can be negative it can be a positive on on how we can do better um so there's you know again it's you know we live in a very dynamic world fast moving and yes. so it's just always a lot of fun to sort of jump in and get started somewhere that's right so speaking of jumping in and getting started um this month for august it is back to school month um all month long i know the kids have been going back last week and this week here um and so for that, we're going to do um, our big gallery contest for the month is going to be your best back to school item. Um, so.
go ahead and get your entries in. Just um, enter it in the client gallery and say that you want to enter for the August monthly gallery contest. Your chance to win $200, $100, or $50. So get those photos up there. Let us know what you're doing for back to school. Um, it's a great market to be in. We have this unbranded uh, fundraiser flyer for um, you guys. Just call your rep, and they'll send it to you. You can put your logo on it. It comes in a PDF. Um, nice. And then also, um, Cheryl, are we doing just a contest for you? I wonder. Well, I haven't, I haven't done it yet, David, because I've just been too. It's been a little okay. crazy. Well, in my we world, we, but um, we, we need to come up with something a little bit off the beaten path and uh, have some fun. Um, turn on the the creative energy. I wonder if we could do a um, um, markers contest. Um, you know. Pick your favorite substrate um, and do do a marker. Um, you That's know, cool. So. That's really a cool one. But I would uh, or, also, I would really, 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 really like to do something where um, we could give an SG four hundred away, like we used to back in the day, um, but somehow be able to. Um, uh, allow people who don't have one yet to be able to participate. I don't know. We're get, we got to think about that, but, um, you know, it just would be so helpful because there are so many people who would love to be able to, you know, have. Let's, let's, uh, printer. let's make it happen. So I, yeah. I guess, um, in, in case of printer issue, computer issue, grab the markers and start coloring so right. yeah we'll um, we'll definitely do that contest that's that's too fun i actually asked alice i'm gonna just anyway i asked alice to help me come up with some because she's so creative so between her and i will come up with some doozies but thanks. anyway okay well so what do you have for us sprite i had one more housekeeping oh, okay. issue okay. real quick and that is i think later on in the month when is roger's webinar 29 so towards the end of the month roger wambach from corel will have a webinar to call it a webinar is probably a, a true statement but it's more of a corel class um and it'll it'll go for two hours obviously we're going to record it um but it's it's for folks that are learning corel do know corel want to learn corel uh, take advantage of it, and I'm sure um, what we'll do um, is is give away something like Corel. Um, so uh, figure out some reason, something to to get your folks involved. But again, you know what time? The, it's uh, the twenty August twenty ninth. Is that right? So uh, it's from twelve o'clock to two o'clock Central Time. Um, on the 29th, what day of the week is the 29th? I think it is a Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday. And so I recommend people tune in if they wish. Um, if that's not convenient, uh, convenient, good news, we're going to record it and um, we'll put it up there with Roger's permission. Um, we usually, we ask him because, you know, he's, he's Mr. Correll, so we want to make sure everything is approved. Okay, David, um, um, could Meredith send me a link so I could post that in the group? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Right. Okay, super. Um, and then, of course, the Sakaka show will we'll announce again. Um, if you're going to the show, come to the classes. Um, and we are going to run our coloring booth again. And um, so would um, would love to have your participation. So, Sprite, what do you have for us today? Um, I have some more new drinkware. I'm very excited about this. Um, so we have, we're going to start with our new stainless steel polymer. Oh, this one's a mouthful. It's our stainless steel polymer hull travel mug. This is item number Tom 450 SS. These are in stock, ready to ship. And the finished product looks fabulous. They look really good. Can you bring it up closer, please? So this is a product that is radically unique from a point of view. Is It's designed for sublimation. And so as Sprite is about to, I'm sure she's going to do the transformer bit. 
um, and show you show you how it is. This is an oven product. Um, I guess technically you could do it in a tapered press, but that's probably mm. not the right thing to do. Um, and we use um, really a, what I would call a next generation sleeve instead of a wrap. So lots of innovation with this product that you can expect to see it carry over to uh, new drinkware. All right. So when you first get your product, it comes uh, disassembled. And um, I know I've had a couple of clients already um, speak about this. So when, you, when it comes disassembled, there's going to be a piece of paper in the steel inner part. Um, this piece of paper only says that you're not to put the cup together until after you sublimate this, the hull. So the hull is going to expand and it's going to allow um, you to be able to take this apart. If you put this together before you sublimate it, um, you're not going to be able to get it back apart. So I know when you get something that's um, not constructed, the first thing you want to do is put it together. But in this case, you have to wait. Um, you have to sublimate it first. Um, so, so we'll sublimate it and then I'll put it together to show you. Um, I have a really good template. Uh, they should be online. So we just take it, wrap it around our mug, our, our outer hole. So um, I know people are always asking about how mm -hmm. they manipulate images so they have the, mm -hmm. the correct look. But since the taper is relatively minor, probably not much work needed on this one. Okay, well, um, let me, okay, so let me just uh, interrupt here for a second. Um, so can Sprite show the seam in the back where the edges meet? And Alice is saying she loves the lid. Um, Brian says that looks really nice. You mean just, well. That's the seam. Okay, very nice. Yeah, and you can make it, um, you know, where it, the... So very my nice, idea for nice. the artwork would be to take half of it and then, you know, split it. And that way you have an, un, um, an unaltered scene. But yeah. I, just didn't, I just didn't create my artwork that way. So um, because I was being lazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so but uh, you can see the seam here. Uh, it does have a slight bit of an overlap. And then you're going to take our gold, um, our premium gold tape, our new tape. And just put a couple of pieces lengthwise or going um, the width, the circumference. And then you're going to take a piece and go all the way up the seam. Okay. And then we're going to tape it to the top a couple of times. And we're going to wrap it in our sleeve. So you do have a couple of steps, but this mug is this this travel uh, this travel mug is it's really worth it. Um, I could see you charging anywhere up to thirty dollars for this one. Um, this is this is comparable to what they sell at Starbucks, uh, if not better, actually, um, because you can customize it yourself. So so you wrap it with our our S sleeve, our S wrap seventeen. These are on the web. These are in here. So Alice says, good to know, here I was trying to only butt the seams instead of overlapping. So. Yeah, I think we, um, we kind of talked about that a little bit. Um, I think that if that wasn't you, Alice, I apologize. Um, but somebody had commented on our forum about that, and I had spoke to them um, about overlap versus bunting. And with these, they do expand a slightly um, as you cook them. So an overlap is, you know, it is necessary especially on this one, because they will kind of pull apart from each other, but you'll see that in just a second. So you want to pull this all the way up to the edge. Um, be careful that you don't use your fingernails because I have ripped one by putting my fingernail through it. So we're ready to go in the oven. Um, I have my super heavy duty heat gloves so I don't burn my forearms again for the millionth time. Yeah. All right. So we have an insert for this mug. This is um, the, uh, I can't remember the item number off the top of my head, A101 or ATOS. Mm -hmm. ATOS5, yeah, I think. 
Um, anyways, if you pull up the TUM 450 SS, the insert will come uh, on the same page with it. So I have my insert preheated in my oven. Okay, my oven is, is there, somebody is asking, Brian is asking, is there a special when you buy the mugs to get the sleeve? Um, uh, uh, <laughs> Meredith? No, not right now, but they're only $2. Um, not at this very moment, but they are only $2. We may offer them again. Um, I think our stock's running a little bit low on them right now. But um, yeah, they're $2 a piece. Uh, so we're going to cook that for six minutes. Um, so that'd be 3.32. All right. So that goes in the oven for six minutes. Um, yeah, I think we're going to get uh, a couple more of these probably t at the end of the month. So maybe for October or September, we can do drinkware. We'll see how that goes. And maybe we can work on offering some sleeves um, when we have some more in stock. Okay, they are reusable, um, Brian. So, yes. um, Barbara says she likes the idea of the split image. Of the what? Split image, like when you're designing yeah. it. Yeah, so I would just take half of it and then mirror it, you know, get like a repeating pattern, find the center point. Um, we can do a video. We can do a video. <laughs> All right, so while we're waiting on our mug, um, let's, let's press some stuff. Alice is asking if the linen placemats are back in stock yet, and I don't believe so. Oh, they are? Are they? The, um, the, the, linen the large place, ones? Yeah, the linen placemats. Are they in stock yet? They'll be in uh, hopefully next Friday. Okay. So um, our Tum 40s, they are in stock. You can get them now. Um, our sleeves are in stock. Uh, the cups I'm going to show you will be in stock. There is one kind of sneak peek item that you have, you can pre-order for next week. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, but yeah, I think our placemats, we, sh we have a shipment in route. So you know how that goes. We're waiting on it. Um, but in honor of back to school, which we talked about our back to school flyer, um, we're going to do a memory book. This is MB 75. I really like these books. Um, we've had them for quite a while. They're just felt, uh, top, but I really like the way they sublimate. I like the way they look. Um, I like the way they feel in your hand. So I'm going to lint roll this first, make sure I get all my big stuff out of there. I'm gonna use some pro spray on my design. I'm going to line it up and we're going to press it um, at a kind of a low temperature because it's felt. We're going to do 375 for a minute and 15 seconds. So we're just going to use butcher paper on the bottom, butcher paper on the top, and sandwich our notebook in between. All right. Again, double check your or triple check your orientation um, to make sure you're doing it front to back and right orientation one of those kind of things people like me get in a hurry and oh well you got you uh, a we'll call it you could you could create yourself a left-handed notebook how about that's that? pretty good yeah david being the left-handed guy in the room nice because we always like to start at the back and work our way to the front all right so go a minute and 15 seconds 375 degrees very light pressure um, so when we take that out, we're actually going to weight it down, let it cool for a second, and then press the other side. So, Cool. Yeah. By the way, uh, one thing I learned today, and I always learn a lot every day, um, is that I asked Aaron Knight at the George Knight Company uh, if there was a way to calibrate the pressure sensor. Um, these presses do have a pressure sensor. It's a wire that goes from the electronics to the bottom. Um, and then on the display, it shows you a little bar graph going across. And he sent me the instructions for, for calibrating it. So, um, I, I, you know, trying to figure out, okay, do we need to do a video here? But, but you know, lady that bought the press was really intent on using that bar graph and, and wanted a way to sort of dial it in for what she perceived to be light, medium, and heavy pressure. That's cool. I've never actually used it. I don't even see it up there anymore. Um, but yeah, it'd be really nice. So 
Um, these presses are actually quite fancy. My son Finch was asking um, how you actually set the programming of these presses. And certainly I remember how to do it a little bit, but um, um, it is quite useful if you want to use the feature. We're going to weight that down, let it cool. And give it a couple, like maybe, maybe a minute. and then we'll... Definitely a great uh, sketchbook, notepad, notes. Um, nice, nice product. Yeah, I like this one. Um, Y'all have any questions or anything? Um, okay, <laughs> let me look. I think they're just enjoying. Okay, awesome. so. So this is cute. Um, so I just did the one side. I can do the back side or just leave it nice. blank. I'm just going to leave it blank. Um, so this looks really good. Really uh, cute. Super cute colors. Really easy to do. Okay, so <laughs> Alice says, speaking of notebooks, the little three and a half by five microfiber notebook. Is it really necessary to create a jig for pressing the notebook? I followed the video for pressing a phone case, I believe. Love it, she says. Uh, I don't recall that needing a jig. No, it doesn't need a jig. We're actually working on our instructions right now. Um, Jeff and I are working at getting um, everything uh, switched over and kind of simplified a little bit. So, um, if Alice, if you... Yeah, Absolutely. send us a link. Send us a link to where you see that, and uh, let us decipher that and uh, try to understand. Um, but I can't think that we have a jig for the notebook, so uh, okay. not not quite sure. Yeah, okay, and uh, Brian is asking: Is that travel mug? Is the lid pop up, pop on, or screw on? It's a uh, screw on. So. Okay, that's good. So it's super cool from a, you know, I think from a just an awesome travel perspective. It's just, you know, it's just what the doctor ordered. Wow, just, nice. Um, Very nice. Nice, nice all around. Um, it's fun to take it apart, you know, and <laughs> you could clean it this way or and then screw it back together. Um, it's obviously insulated because of, of the construction. So just a really uh unexpectedly nice product that's great that's really great all right much so better I've... screw on less and, and it's around. really the first of the uh, first generation of products that are not coated for sublimation they're made out of sublimation materials oh wow all right so i've got um i'm just going to go ahead and do the back of my notebook while we wait because i have to heat my press back to 400 degrees um, so when I say we're simplifying our instructions, that's one of the things that we like to do. We like to keep everything at the same temperature, if we can, the same time, try to keep everything as even as possible. But sometimes you get a material that just doesn't want to kind of hold up in the heat like this felt, and you just need to drop it down, you know, 15, 25 degrees. So, but once again, we're just going to do it uh, image face down for a minute and 15 uh, Alice lighting. said to disregard what she asked because evidently they had updated the video yesterday. So, you know, she... hey, <laughs> so, <laughs> so just to for folks that are joining us that may not be as familiar, um, we need to anchor the transfer paper to the substrate because when the press opens, if the transfer moves, um, it's going to cause a problem and it'll take a cause a double image, a shadow image. And so um, we use either pro spray or heat tape to anchor it. In this case of this, um, we're using heat tape um, because we're sliding the wrap over it, uh, sleeve over it, and it needs to be, be quite secure. Um, so, um, wow, very nice. Yeah, it's turned very out really nice. Good. So, this so, sublimates really well. Um, you know, there's not a lot of headache to, with it, it's not a lot of hassle. Um, Really, the breakthrough is the, the material, the quality of the tumbler itself, the travel mug. And, um, you know, we're able to achieve very, you know, I would say very bright colors. It doesn't have that glossy look, but it, it and I think to some extent, the glossy look is a little bit out of style. It's more of that, that deep, rich, um, semi-matte look. And so just a 
you, you really need to get one. And if you don't have an oven, you're going to need an oven. Um, and so some of the ovens that probably make good ovens are the um, Wolfgang Puck pressure oven, um, which is um, probably what we have here. Yeah, well, this oven is the Cuisinart brick oven here. And that's certainly my favorite oven, but I believe they've stopped production of it. If you can find one, great. Um, but the Wolfgang Puck pressure oven is another one. Um, if you want to go all in and get you a, a dedicated normal size convection oven, then uh, you'll, you'll be armed for bear to do lots of things from volume mugs, steins, uh, dog bowls, um, you name it. All right, mm -hmm. guys. So we've, um, we've sublimated our outer hole. So now we can put it all together the moment we've been waiting for. So we're just going to have um, our inner tube fits right on it. And then the bottom piece just screws onto the inner tube. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Screw your lid on. And you are ready to go. So. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Look at that. That's great. So, you know, there's so many people that would be interested in a product like this. Um, but if you get out there, show people, um, um, you know, it could be great fundraiser. Um, could be, you know, uh, promotion for companies where you're putting the company name on there, Love it. but putting Gorgeous. their personalized name on it. Um, you know, this time of year, companies are starting to look at Christmas gifts. Um, and the more personal a Christmas gift is with a little bit of soft selling, the company that's giving it is a nice thing. So if we weren't in the sublimation business, this would be a perfect um way for us to thank our our, our great employees uh here at condi that's right but i think our that your employees have so much sublimation stuff already. yes <laughs> yes uh, we're like the cobbler's children uh we may may often um really need a product like this but but um probably aren't going to do one yeah you know so. but i have my sublimated dog leash and dog collar and pet tags at home with uh, my dog, um, my new, new golden retriever. And I was telling um, Cheryl, we've all recently lost some, some pets and how, how we love our pets. Um, that, that is just that special relationship. Yeah. That's for sure. Um, yeah. I, yeah. My puppy, I just got my puppy. Uh, she just had surgery last week and I've been so stressed out about her, but she's fine. She's great. She's a pit bull, so, you know, she's great. Wow. Okay. All right, guys. So we have our new latte mug with a handle. Um, so we did introduce our cup, 17SS, without the handle. Um, and now we're going to do it with a handle. So this is our L mug, L mug 17SS. Yeah, stainless steel polymer injected latte mug. So we're going to do this one a little bit different because it has a handle. We're going to do this one in our DK3T. So I have my, um, my image already cut out and uh, shaped like I need it to be. We're just going to place it on our L mug. And in, with any tapered mug, if you want to find that sweet spot where the template fits correctly. Um, so because we're not doing this mug in an oven, uh, we're not going to get that top to bottom bleed. We are going to have a little space at the top and the bottom of white space. And also you're going to have some space at the back where the handle is, but that's okay. This, the type of mug that this is, I feel like makes up for it in the end. So use that same heat tape. Just tape it like you would any other mug. This one doesn't have to be seamed all the way around because we're not using a wrap. We're actually using the pressure of the mug press. So I'm going to take a little bit of protective paper just to um, protect the heat conductive rubber on my uh, mug press, my DK3T mug press. All right. So Alice is asking, does the handle prevent the latte mug from being subbed in an oven? 
At this point in time, it does. Um, I'm looking at a wrap. Um, I was uh, exploring using our die wrap O2, but it's a little too uh, small. Or it's a little too big. The wrap is a little too big for this cup. Um, we've only had this cup in stock for a couple of weeks now. Um, I am still looking at um, uh, wraps for you guys. And as soon as I find one, I'll let you know. Um, I know as of right now, if you guys don't have this tapered mug press or a similar kind, then it is, uh, you know, a little hard to do this latte press. But I also know you guys are pretty ingenious sometimes. So, you know, try to come up with something. Let me know. Um, you know. So Barbara's asking, can this mug be done in, in an oven using a latte cup wrap? Um, so the only latte cup wrap that I have seen since I've been at Condi is the Die Wrap O2. And um, as of uh, last week, I checked the Die Wrap O2 against this mug and the Die Wrap O2 is a little bit bigger. Now, if you have a different version of a latte mug um, wrap, let me know and um, we'll get some measurements from you. And if it works, fantastic. Um, you know, maybe we'll send you a cup and try it out. Let us know. Um, but like I said, we've only had these for a couple of weeks, so we're still, um, kind of coming up with new ways to do them. Um, but if, uh, you know, I've seen the other presses kind of the, um, what are they, uh, they're air compressed presses, you know, they'll, they'll kind of vacuum it. I guess they're vacuum presses. Those work. If you have one of those, try it. Let me know. Let me know how, how you're doing our new L mug 17 SS. Yeah. So I, put it I have a, um, I have a 3d heat press and, um, I do have one that I think would probably work. Okay. So good. Yeah. We would love to have a simple sleeve like we had on the travel mug. Um, so, you know, we're looking for be, ideas. Yeah. 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 Well, let me, I have something I can show you guys. Okay. All right. You want to go ahead and put yeah. it in? So let her put it in. So we're, I'm going to put this in, um, uh, you know, the small end goes in the back. You want to fit the, uh, the curve of your mug to the curve of your press. And then we're just going to press it one press, kind of medium heavy um, pressure for four minutes. So this one only takes four minutes and it's done. Okay, got you. She got it. So that's, that's a vacuum wrap that right. uh, you attach it to the vacuum line of right, the right. 3D press. And then you put it in the press and heat it. Right. And um, it, it indeed. So if you will ask your Condi rep there, Cheryl, to get you a couple of these out so you can test them. Okay. Uh, I'll do it. And All then, right. of course, get some of the travel uh, mugs. So the, the mug that, that Sprite is pressing right now, it's an interesting construction. It's like the travel mug, except the polymer, which is what we're sublimating into, is formed against the stainless steel inner core. Um, as opposed to these, it's removable. So again, it's just fun with some, some innovative technology um, that really, from what I can tell, this is sort of the first time that these products were designed for the, from the ground up only for sublimation decorating. So um, this is really exciting for these. I'm, uh, these mugs or these cups, the Cup 17 SS and the L Mug 17 SS are really unlike um, anything I've we've seen um, for the sublimation. So I'm really excited about it. I love the flat matte finish. You know, it's not shiny. Um, it it just looks really professional, really chic, uh, and and it's in right now. So you know, you can um, really increase your profit margins by offering a high end um, product like this. Yes, All I right. agree. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? Um, so we're going to match a couple of things. So we're going to match um, a bag tag, an acrylic bag tag to our um, notebook. And got to have a bag tag for school. That's and right. In fact, everybody nowadays carries a backpack except me. I carry a little roller backpack and, you know, I see everybody and they, they got to have their backpack. And of course, um, put a, put a bag tag on there as a fashion decorating accessory or identification. I guess you could really 
really do both. And um, you think about all the people and all the opportunities. And, of course, you can change a bag tag without much effort. That's right. Um, so we did this one um, as kind of an informational one, and it does match our – notebook just the information on there it has her address and everything well i i made it up so you know but um i get pretty creative with my streets sometimes we're just gonna use a little bit of pro spray once again we are doing an acrylic bag tag that's acr 338 um and if you guys want to uh, with your next order of a hundred dollars you can get a free one of these if you let your rep know um that offer is available from eight nine yesterday to eight sixteen next thursday when we do our show so, um, okay. So your... Alice is asking with the die wrap 10 work, it has a clamp that screws tight. Is it for a latte press latte mug. or latte mug? Die wrap 10 is what she's asking. I don't know. I'm not, I'll really look it up, it. see what a die wrap 10 is. See, and that's what I was thinking is that the kinds that you manually, you uh, manually screw All right, guys, so with the um, acrylic, we're not going to mirror our image, so our, our image is right reading. We're just going to attach this with a little bit of pro spray. No, she's talking about one that you put in the oven, so. Right. So I believe the one she's referring to um, is for a straight mug, um, so so we need one that, that uh, compensates a for a... Um, a uh, tapered mug we yeah. will ultimately get it figured out wow oh that's gorgeous wow the colors just pop, pop. and it's Woo. so pretty so pretty oh, that's beautiful david so likes the blue beautiful. looks really good all right that's gorgeous so let's do our bag tag um we've got it um the frosted side is the coated side so we have fixed our image to that we're going to do it image face down for one minute, 60 seconds, light pressure. Oh, so, so pretty. The acrylic is super easy to press. Um, just, just really no effort. Tammy Martin says it's beautiful. beautiful. Thanks, Tammy. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. So let that go. You know, I got, got lots of Alice bag tag choices. Um, and so your, your client should never run out of options uh, from the wood, the metal, the acrylic, um, the FRP. I still have all FRP uh, bag tags on my luggage and my, my roller um, and love it. Uh, gosh, they've been around for so many years. I need to make my wife a new set um, for our, our next and they come with either the plastic bag tag or the uh, leather. Yeah, you need a loop to attach it. Um, the, uh, you get the plastic loop uh, or the leather loop. I like the leather. Personally, they're all inexpensive. And I think we've got probably brown and black leather uh, straps. So, yeah. um, um, you know, really strong, elegant, uh, good-looking kind of product. Okay, so. All right. So I'm going to weight this down um, to make sure that it doesn't warp. Uh, it shouldn't warp because it's such a little piece, but just to be uh, better safe than sorry, if you think it may warp, just warp, weight it down. Um, anytime, I would, I would suggest that anytime you guys press anything, have a, a, you know, a weight, maybe a five pound dumbbell or a 10 pound dumbbell and, uh, you know, a piece of of metal and that way if you do get a something like the notebook that may want to um you know become a little unstable when it gets hot you can just lay your your modified you know heat uh weighted cooling system down so um, tammy says she needs to make a few sets of the bag tags for an upco upcoming destination wedding that's Ooh, a great nice. idea. Yeah. A ask her, ask her, where, where is it? Is it in the United States or are they going outside? Is it in the U.S. or is it out of the country? Outside. Really cute. You can see both of them. It's great. So I've got to make, make some stuff for a destination wedding in the near future. Uh, my nephew is getting married in Jamaica. So, um, um, 
you know, so got to got to do something special here. One of our employees uh, is from Jamaica, and so um, he's a he's a great guy. We all like Donnie. Donnie's fun. All right, so um, sneak peek time. Um, so this is our new linen uh, book bag. Um, so I really like these. I use these in yoga all the time. Um, so they're just, just little drawstring bags. They're made out love of our new linen. It. Love it, yep. love it, love it. So these are available for pre-order tomorrow. They will be uploaded tonight, and so they'll be available for pre-order tomorrow for a ship. Probably uh, about Friday next week, we will be able to ship these out. We'll have them in stock. Very um, cool. Yeah. So. Okay. So and honor of our Turks and Caicos. Say that. Again. Oh. Of Turks. She oh, okay. Did. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it says this. December fifteenth, her youngest son. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's good. That'll be out of some of the uh, hurricane stuff. So that I think that's a great time. Yeah. All right, we're going to do a full bleed on our um, linen bag today. And this is just kind of a, um, a, a design that I've been carrying over from week to week. I did it on a pair of socks last week, so we're going to do it on a book bag this week. Um, and because it is a full bleed and it has all that ink on it, I'm going to hover it underneath my open um, heat press for just a couple seconds and let it dry. Great idea. Definitely. Yep. All right. So now um, this is double sided. So you can press the front or the back, depending on what, what you wanted to do. Um, I am using a piece of vapor uh, uh, foam. Uh, really anything, you know, if you guys have that can fit in between the two of them to kind of stop them from sticking and stop your paper from kind of getting that hard, hard line where it presses into it. So with the vapor foam, the deal is, is you want the foam smaller than your paper, but larger than your design. So I just cut a piece of foam that kind of fit um, the design, but the paper was hanging off the edges. That's going to stop you from getting that hard line and stop you from having to decal the page or rip the page. So I'm going to do a quick pre-press with any type of fabric. I always want to pre-press it to kind of get any wrinkles or any you know, any weird stuff that's going to happen out of the way before I actually put the ink to the bag. So I'm going to hang the ropes off the side and I'm just going to give it a quick uh, five or 10 second pre-press. With, um, let's see. Yeah, medium pressure. Thank you. All right. All right, so now that I have it nice and flat, I'm just going to take my image, put a little bit of Pro Spray on it. What is the dimensions of the bag, somebody's asking? Um, I think, so I did this as an 8 by 10, and I think that the bag is uh, like 11 by 16 or something like that, up and down. So something close to that, um, the item number is JDW749. Um, so when you look it up tomorrow, it'll have the exact dimensions of the, uh, the bag in there. All right, so we're just going to stick our design on there, make sure it's nice and lined up. Okay, a quick question. Does Condi mm -hmm. have beach tile substrates? We do. Um, you would need to just maybe um, do a search for towels. Um, but we have essentially two kinds of towels, towels that are cotton with a polyester strip going across the top. And then we have, um, towels where one side is cotton, the other side is polyester. Um, so really, um, two, uh, two great things. That's what I missed last week. Yep. You weren't here for this. In wow. California. Really cool. I know. So sad. So we did, um. These are the sock 46s. There are sublime socks. So we just did a little owl logo with the, um, the kid's name. And so now his book bag will match his socks. Um, so we need to put socks, a bag tag, sleeves on him, um, <laughs> some sort of, uh, headgear, um, you know, something a around dog his neck. Tag. 
Um, our, our little uh, tie. We got him. Um, For all your back to school Maybe needs. put in his uh, shoestrings, one of those little Diflex tags. we got the cutest little tags that you weave in your uh, shoelaces so that you can sort of bling out your shoes, so to speak. Um, there's certainly a great, great way to identify your shoes, you know, really quick. So um, if you don't know, I mean, I think we got a video showing it, but lace face, lace face that's it. Lace face. <laughs> that's nice and warm. All right. So I'm going to take my pillow out of there. Whew. It's hot. All right. And this just sublimates great. As, as you guys know, I'm sure you've already pressed some linen. Um, you know, it was just one minute, uh, light pressure, well, medium pressure, and it looks really cute. So a really cute idea for back beautiful. to school. Beautiful, Magic beautiful. With the socks, um, you know, awesome. So yes. really cute. And that's it. I'm done for the day. I'm good. Oh, you so did our, awesome. Yay. Our tongue to uh Tom 450 TUM 450SS available now to ship. Our L mug LMUG 17SS now available ready to ship. Our JPW 749 uh, pre order tomorrow for a ship date of Friday. Yeah, and then our MB17 and our ACR 338 both in stock. You can get them now. Okay, so David, can we give a set of this stuff free like the mugs? to somebody in the group that's been like really awesome. Absolutely. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to run up and down the. So what is it we're giving away? Just sort of, the, um, the, the little, the mud, everything she showed today with the exception of the, um, the linen bag, because it's not in stock. But. Okay, sure. So the uh, travel mug and then the handled polymer mug. Yes. Um, and um, one of the notebooks. And, an, and a bag tag. And, I... a, and an acrylic bag tag, sure. Okay, so... Um, okay, and Carol asked if there was any luck finding the lids. Say again? Any luck finding the lids for the other one. You know, um, I've just started an initial um, query to um, find them, but no, nothing yet. Um, but I'm suspicious that, um, uh, you know, some of the lids we've already, we're already used to, we can get. Um, so, um, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to find out. Okay, so... Um, someone, a couple of people, actually, I think Alice was one, but, um, someone else in the group said that, um, what, what lid fit Alice? I think anyway, um, I'm not really sure. I think it stretches off. Um, I know I've tried our, our town 10 lid. It didn't fit. Now it's a little too big. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway. I'm sure it'll, something will happen. So yeah, we'll figure something uh, out. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I'm going to post something in the group and, um, give that away. That's exciting. And, awesome. um, thank you guys so much. It's awesome. As always, Sprite, you rocked it again. <laughs> we I do love what I can. you so much. And by the way, um, Yesterday, we did a webinar, which will be posted the next day or so, on interior signage markets. Um, mm. You know, just, a, I think, an opportunity out there for, for folks, whether you're doing something for consumers, you know, for instance, a little sign that goes in a dorm room that has a little dry erase section for the Wi-Fi password. Uh, wall decor or functional signage in a business, in a bed and breakfast, um, coffee shop. Think of, of all the stuff that, um, you know, it, it's just sort of an endless kind of array of, of what you can achieve. In sublimation, 
you know, it's subsurface decorating, so that makes it um, abrasion resistant, chemically resistant, um, uh, you know, you name it. It's just, just an awesome products. And now we have, of course, metals that we can go outdoors with. So um, if yeah, you're doing sublimation, you're really sitting on an, an amazing technology. Yeah, for sure. Yay. Okay, well, you guys have an awesome weekend, and thank you again. For thank you all. Till we meet again, yes. uh, be safe. All Bye right, guys. thank you. Next Thursday. Take care. Thursday. Yes, next Thursday. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Thursday it will be. Thank right. you. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks.